YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger. And today, we got Sean Patton. When life gives you balls, make lemonade. Y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. And now the three of us are like, no, 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 no. Ah, ah. And I vividly remember shouting, we're sorry! Welcome to This Is Not Happening. I'm your host, Roy Wood Jr. Game time! What the hell? That's ball game. Drop your shuttle. It's tub time. I see you. My MVP right there. Yeah. I see you. Hey, ho, ho. What's your secret? GBO. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. That was a crazy Man, intro. Man, the stage many a time. Let's get ready for another story from my dog, Mr. Sean Pat. One of the most important nights of my life. I was 16 years old with my two best friends. We were at a park on the river, the Mississippi River, in New Orleans, Louisiana, sharing a 40 and smoking a Okay, okay. I don't have to tell you about a Southern California, you understand that word. Right, I think at this point, everybody does. That's so easy. I think at this point, everybody does. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows what a is, right? California, you understand that word. Such a hard, they're so easy. They're so easy. You take the cigar, you cut it open with the razor blade you got from the guy who sold your clearly underage ass the cigar. <laughs> Usually for only 75 cents more. You get all that tobacco out of there. They taxing underage? Yo, that's grimy, bro. That's grimy. You refill it with You roll it real tight. You slobber all over it. <clears throat> you run a flame along that slobber so it heats up and then congeals as it cools. Then it unravels right there and the falls all over the concrete. Oh, damn. <laughs> and you pick it up. You pick it up fast. You try not to get too much dirt. And then you repeat the process. You just roll it real tight. You don't need any more slobber, so you run that flame across it again. Whoops, you needed more slobber, because there it goes. <laughs> Falls apart again. Now you're fucking angry. Now your friends, your other friends got his lighter. You're all making sure you're getting all the His lighter gets hot. He burns you in the calf. You kick him in the head. <laughs> Say, guys, remember, we're smoking a Chill the fuck out. Then all three of you slobber all over it. And I'll individually run your lighters across the slobber. And now you have what essentially resembles a branch from a dead sapling <laughs> you have to smoke that that blunt was yo i've been there i've definitely been there not with the unraveling but with the looking like a like a twig bro like all bent out of shape and and everything such a piece of sh it was holes like, too you know what i'm saying i remember your finger you had to hold it with your fingers touching five separate points <laughs> to prevent it from unraveling a fourth time and to plug all the rips. <laughs> and because right. I didn't break the weed up very well, in order to even get a hit, you had to blow into it first to loosen the weed and create a passage. <laughs> then light, then take a hit, and then release your fingers in a specific sequence <laughs> to create that carb effect. So I, <laughs> So as I'm doing the motion, I realize it wasn't really a at all, was it? It was a clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> so we were sharing. Yo, this is one dude laughing in this, and I hear him so loud on my right, on the right side of my on my headset. It's almost as, as if he's sitting right here next to me. You know what I'm saying? Just being loud as hell. Low key annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Low key annoying. <laughs> So we were sharing a 40, playing the clarinet. When this grown man, stranger, suit, tie, hair slicked, just emerges from the darkness of the night. 
puffing on a cigarette, rolls up on us, gets about six feet away and just stares hard. And we are three very teenagers. <laughs> so our, initially, right away, we all three just freeze. Like we communicated telepathically, like, shh, don't move. He can only see us if we move. <laughs> I've heard something similar like that in uh, Boy Meets World. And then my friend Brian, seated to the right of me, who has no sense of humor. That's very important to know for what he was about to say. He goes, maybe he has a message. <laughs> <laughs> he meant that. He was that. <laughs> he was medieval level. <laughs> maybe he received a raven from the king. But then my other friend, Darius, on the other side of me, elbows me in the ribs hard and says, no, just like that, no, <laughs> so harshly. And I know I was, but it was like I saw the word no <laughs> pop out of his mouth. And I stared at it as it floated to what he was saying no in reference to, which was the man's <laughs> which were on display. Oh, man. I don't know how that wasn't the first thing we saw. Hold on. A man in a, in a suit. He's, I think he said suit and tie, right? What the hell? And let me be clear. It wasn't an accident. His weren't accidentally hanging out of his pants. No, no, no. It was like he saw us before we saw him. It was like... <laughs> Okay, so now, <laughs> and immediately the three of us are like, whoop, like focused on the guy's. You couldn't look away. You tried, like, ah, the ball, look at the, oh my God, the balls are so, the ball, because we still had young teenage <laughs> that were changing and morphing every day. Those were grown man. Uh, opaque, like I've never seen before. <laughs> and we're just, look at them. Look at, ah, they're, they're different sizes. They're different sizes. They look like a before and after picture. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, they move. Ah, they move. When he breathes, they move. Do mine move? <gasps> ah, his move when he breathes. We are fixated on this man's <laughs> And he knows that. And he knows that because the next thing he does is takes a giant drag of that cigarette. Gets a f***ing amber of Satan going at the end of it. A real demon ash. And then starts going directly at his with the lid end of that cigarette. Directly. Why, bro? At his He's going to put the cigarette out on his And now the three of us are like, no, 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 no. And I vividly remember shouting, we're sorry! <laughs> hey, yo. Because my young mind had deduced, oh, he must be an undercover cop. And this must be what they do if they catch you drinking and smoking underage in a park. They force you to watch them with their <laughs> It's protocol. It works, this sucks, please, no! We're sorry! But he didn't make contact, he stopped. He stopped like a centimeter away from his <laughs> and looked at us with the eyes of pure <laughs> madness and blew all of that smoke out of his nose like a <laughs> dragon and then pulled a cigarette away, took one last drag, flicked it away and said to us, man, all you get in life is your <laughs> Learn how to use them. <laughs> what the hell? Yo, I guess I guess he did have a message. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what that was meant to to be or 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 come off as, but <laughs> I don't know, but that was weird. And then he walked away like angry. Like it was our fault. Why did why didn't they just jump him? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like homies out here exposing himself to, to three teenagers. 
They should have just jumped him, bro. Like, oh, sorry, we were on your airing out your path. Sorry, we didn't mean to be here while you were taking your for a walk. Like he had that sort of OCD, like, well, I got to show my to people three times a day or else killer bees will attack every major city in America. I think about that man and his every single day of my life. <laughs> I did. Scarred for life. Because he showed us his yes, but he didn't show us his <laughs> Exactly. That I'm grateful for. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was just <laughs> too much. And it'd be like, let's not stay for this message. I had only told this story once to the police. But there was no dick. Hey, that dick was tucked away in those trousers, hidden from our young eyes. It was just okay? Now think about just for a second. I know you have been since I brought it up. Think about just Like, they're not that bad. You know, it's not that creepy. It's just, they're just just sort of dangling. <laughs> or up here, scared. <laughs> it's cold, I'm scared. <laughs> or dangling. They're just they're not a they're not a dick. <laughs> Judgmental <laughs> <laughs> staring at you, calculating its next move. <laughs> Trying to trick you, looking like it's asleep. <laughs> and then <laughs> Then suddenly, just up in your face. <laughs> no, they're just, they're just. They're almost waving at you. They're almost waving at you. They're like that guy in the neighborhood you grew up in. The guy who has Down syndrome who waves at the school buses every day. <laughs> oh my God. Hello, hi. <laughs> hi, hello, hi. Hi. Oh man. He's harmless, that guy. That statement didn't give him Down syndrome, by the way. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's a harmless, friendly guy, and your parents let him mow your lawn twice a week. <laughs> Hello! Hi! They're not a, they're not a, those aren't a crazy with its one eye, staring at you. It's like the bully you grow up with. Always trying to spit on you. <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're just dangling they're like a manatee in a hammock it's so chill just hanging out that's what he showed us I don't know his intention I don't know if he was trying to with us, but I do know this. There were three of us that night who saw the man's <laughs> Myself, my friend Darius, my other friend Brian. Now, after it happened, Darius was the first to say anything about it. He goes, why the f that just happened? <laughs> <laughs> and then he didn't speak again for hours. He got him hours. thinking? He got him Locked thinking? Locked in a pensive cage. Yo, that, that, that's, a, that's a, valid, a valid question, though. Like, why did that happen? You know what I'm saying? We're just chilling, minding our business, trying to have a good time. We're not bothering anybody. We got a, got a 40. Let us do us. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's, a, that, that's a valid concern, bro. Speak again for hours. <laughs> hours. Locked in a pensive cage. Just sort of walking a few feet behind us, staring at the ground. Like, let him think it out, whatever it is. Right, right. And then when he finally did speak again hours later, his first words were, huh. Why does anything just happen? Changes life forever. That man's unlocked Darius's love of philosophy, <laughs> which he went on to study at Washington University in St. Louis. And now lives in New York and is the chief technical officer at an investment firm because all that philosophizing made him realize, hey, there's no money in thought, computers. And now he's doing pretty well for himself. Myself, 
after seeing that man's balls and laughing the way I did, realized that I too wanted to share the gift of laughter, and now here I am, a f millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not, not in money. I mean, in laughter. You know, if there was a laughter bank, I have about a million laughs, I'd say. Because laughter's the true currency if you're a real comedian. Ooh, mic drop? But also, money's good, and I'm into it. So, you know, please give me some. <laughs> And my other friend, Brian... Yo, I, I, after, thought, I thought he was done. I legitimately thought he was done. He was walking off the stage, and that's how he was going to end it. You feel me? <laughs> and my other friend, Brian, after seeing that man's... realized that he always had, and always would, love men's... <laughs> <laughs> I bet he wished the guy did show his... <laughs> he wanted to see a pair of man's every day for the rest of his life. Oh, man. He went to college in Boston, came out of the closet, met a man there, married that guy, moved back to New Orleans after Katrina. That was the first time I saw him after he'd come out, right? Yeah, that's when he moved back, yeah. Moved back, bought a, him and his lover bought a hotel, reopened it. It was a smash success, so they bought a bunch of other hotels around the country. Brian and his lover are actual millionaires. Good stuff, good stuff. Because the three of us became better Men, because that guy chose us to show his <laughs> <laughs> You gotta look for the positive in life. Yo, he's, a, he's a, a glass half full kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people would want to play the victim in this story. A lot of people would want to say they were <laughs> No, were we <laughs> Absolutely not. We were challenged. We <laughs> <You> were challenged. <laughs> The only problem, however, is now, every single time I walk past a group of teenagers hanging out. No, no! <laughs> Yo! God damn it. Should I go back there and give them all a future? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, they're all looking at their phones. It'll be fun. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Tom Patton, everybody. That was good. That was good. That was good. I rocked with that, bro. I rocked with that. Listen, if you rock with Sean Patton, if you know who he is, let me know what's your favorite bit from him. And I get to it ASAP. But yo, I'm going to end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, you the real MVP, baby. No cap. If you enjoyed this video, Y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.